we hit 100 subscribers. Yay! Not necessarily in celebration of that. I'm going to be drinking Marion Beveau by Degard Brewing, a spontaneous wild ale with Marion berries aged in oak barrels for two year. Okay, apparently I'm going to have to bring up um, bigger equipment. Or, no, actually, I won't. I'll just, uh, the equipment I brought apparently has the right tool already. They were, uh, serious about keeping this one enclosed. It's a pretty short cork. Interesting. There we go. Ooh, almost tore that cork. Hmm. Smells tart. There. I suppose being a uh, wild ale, that's to be expected. I believe I purchased this beer a year ago or something at Spud's uh, Market in Tumwater. Degard Brewing and what they represent is intriguing to me. They focus on spontaneous gener spontaneous fermentation and other things like that. They are in Tillamook or near Tillamook. I suppose it might say on the bottle. It does say Tillamook, Oregon. Yep. If you don't know what Tillamook is, well, I'm sorry, but you should find out. Tillamook is a, uh, the brand of Tillamook is a dairy cooperative in Oregon that makes very good cheeses and other dairy products ice creams, sour cream, stuff like that. Um, they have a factory for their cheese in Tillamook, Oregon. Tillamook ice cream. <laughs> so freaking good. Enough about Tillamook, and let's talk about Degard. The color on this, this beer is enchanting. That is ruby, like, like it's red, crimson, but then it's got that hint of blue, you know, so it's edging into purple. That is a delightful color. Um, my glass is a bit frosted. The beer's cold, and it's humid today. It rained earlier this afternoon pretty heavily, so quite humid. So the glass is frosty, but that is a gem of a beer color. The head is pretty fine. Um, it came up pretty, pretty, um, almost champagne-like when I poured, um, but then dissipated pretty quickly. So if you don't know, Marion berries are a form of blackberry, a uh, a breed of blackberry, and they're common here to the northwest. They are actually being harvested right around this time in late August, uh, throughout August mostly, probably into late September, depending on what the weather's been like. And they're just really tasty blackberries. So this dark ruby color is kind of what you would expect, given that it's a it's a form of blackberry, um, and the smell is just really rich with berry, but a promise of tartness too. So being a wild ale, I'm expecting it to be sour. I'm expecting it to be quite sour. Degard Brewing actually has cool ships. Cool ships are traditional wild ale fermentation tanks that are open topped. They are large tanks that are relatively shallow um, and that are left open for the spontaneous fermentation. So they actually take in yeasts from the atmosphere of the area, producing a true wild ale, not simply an ale that has been brewed with wild yeasts that were captured. So a true wild ale. Um, this is gonna produce a lot more typically lactic acid, a lot more of those um, tart uh, aspects of brewing. But um, the smell and the color are really inviting on this one. So let's see if the taste stands up. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So, like a lot of the other tart beers, yes, this is tart. It is very tart. Um, but, like the good ones... <clears throat> It stops short of going the full vinegar, right? It it pulls up. Sorry, hairs. It pulls up just before, just before it goes too far. And the result is a very nice, 
refreshingly tart, not sweet, dry, fruity, um, but still decently complex set of flavors going here. It's like unripe berries. Like it's it's just rich with berries. There is so much berry in here. It's not even funny. Um, it is rich with berries, but they're those tart, not quite fully black berries. Um, and then it that kind of that kind of fades. And what happens next? I need to remember. Yeah. That actually lingers quite a while. So it's this, it's this really nice, tart, fresh, delicious berries. That that kind of lasts for quite a while. Like you're, it's there and it's still there and it's still there. And then this, as it's starting to fade, this hint of of funkiness starts to come in, and it almost reminds you of maybe the bushes or the plants that the berries were on, or that's what it reminds me of. Not that I go around chewing blackberry bushes. I mean, they're brambles. They're not exactly good eats, unlike the berries. But just the, there's kind of a greenness to the funkiness that, that builds in. It never goes, you know, full on funk. It's not a horse blanket. It's, um, it's more of a, just a, a light woody green kind of character that starts to build and then that that kind of closes off the end of the beer and the 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 tart uh, fruit fades and then you're left with this just really nice kind of woody green verdant um, lingering note I mean I'm still tasting it now 15 seconds later or so it's a very nice beer because it is so tart and dry, it reminds me of a, a champagne or some similarly super tart uh, effervescent uh, wine. Um, and it could probably pair pretty nicely with foods because of that uh, shared characteristic. Um, being so dry, I would probably pair it really well with um, salads or fish, um, maybe a, a lighter chicken meal. Um, I don't think it would stand up to anything super rich, but I would imagine that with a dessert or with cheeses, <laughs> pair it with some Tillamook cheese, I think that's where it belongs actually, um, it would go very nicely. Um, uh, a cheese and Marion Beauvau platter would be um, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> so this is a very tasty beer. I enjoy it quite a lot because it's not because it doesn't go the full Monty on vinegar tartness because it, it holds up it's tart but it's not eye-watering eye-wateringly tart um, it's sour but it's not gonna bite your tongue off and that sourness and that tartness should work super well for warm days the the fruity the berry the really strong berry notes perfect end of summer late summer into you know, autumn, Indian summer kind of beer. Just perfect for that. It's it's a winner. <laughs> it's just a winner. I mean, and who doesn't want to have something looking that gorgeous in their glass, right? I mean, that is just a beautiful sight. <laughs> Anyways, this is me uh, gushing over Marion Beauvau by Degard Brewing, a spontaneous wild ale with Marion berries. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>